Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Amfrost by HD here, and I am bringing you back with another TU14 update video. And this time, it is going to be on emeralds and village trading. As you can see, this is going to be the biggest thing that comes out in TU14. So I'm gonna fully explain it. I'm gonna try the, my best, and let's go ahead and get into this. But first off, you need emeralds to do your trading. So you need to have at least an iron pickaxe to mine emeralds. And if you do find them in the caves, uh, you get some experience from it. Actually, pretty good. I just about there. Almost got a whole level from two of them. The best way to get emeralds though is from these guys right here. So, trading, there's five different types of villagers. There's the farmer, the butcher, or the priest, the butcher, the librarian down there, and the blacksmith. So, the farmer, um, you give him an emerald and he will give you either apples, bread, cooked chicken, cookies, or watermelon, or some arrows. And or some flint and steel and shears and if you give him 10 gravel and an emerald he will give you four flint or five flint but if you he'll give if you give him raw chicken wheat cooked fish um some wool or gold against he'll give you an emerald in return for the blacksmith he will give you armor and emeralds if you give him diamond iron gold against or coal for the butcher if you give him an emerald, he'll give you either food or some leather armor or a saddle. And if you give him food, coal, or gold agent, he'll give you an emerald. For the librarian, if you give him an emerald, he'll give you either glass, a book, shelf, compass, or a clock. If you give him paper, books, a book and quill, a gold ingot, or a book plus 71 emeralds, what? It would give you a different looking book. I don't know what that is. And for a priest, if you give him an emerald, he would give you two to four bottles of enchanting, redstone, glowstone, or an eye vendor. But if you give him gold, he'll give you an emerald, or as long as with armor, he'll enchant it for you. So, whoops, did not mean to break that. So that's what all the options are. I'll have a link in the description showing you the page where I got the chart from as long as where all the probability and stuff is of how chance of them giving you the items and stuff like that so the first thing I'm going to go into is the farmer and as you see he if I give him one emerald he'll give me nine cookies so let's go ahead and do that like so and the other one oh yeah and also if you get the purple effect on him wait whoops I gotta get oh. Wait, I'll give it to one more time. Which one gave me the purple effect? Him, yeah. So if you get the purple effect on, like the little glowing thing, that means the arrows are going to light up and you get another trade offer. So you see, I got 10 arrows this time. So let's go ahead and buy a couple of them. And every time they light up, there's another trade offer. As you see again, I got another trade offer. And this time, he'll take cooked chicken for an emerald. And it goes on for about 3 to 6. And... That's pretty much what I've seen so far people get and that's really cool though because if the more you trade with them the better offers you're going to get. See I went from cookies to arrows which is better and getting an emerald for chicken which is a good deal if you have a lot of food you have a food farm. So the other one this is also a good deal because you get wool for emerald which if you have a bunch of sheep and you farm them you can just get a bunch of emeralds and get spend it on like armor which you get over there in a second or diamond stuff so that oh he got another trade thing can we get him yeah and this time he'll give me cooked chicken so it just goes like that the more you trade with him the better offers you're gonna get the more trade stuff you're gonna get as you see light up again and this time he offers me bread so you see how it pretty much works with the, the more you trade with him gosh again oh wrong one I gotta get that one that one, yeah. See what this time is. Flint and steel. <laughs> See how long we can make him go. See the flint and steel. No. Oh, again. <laughs> We're going to five. Pushing the luck. Some shears. Again. Oh, shears. Watermelon. See, as you see, I got it six times there. I pushed him all the way to the limit. Is it? Wait. Does it keep going? Apparently it keeps going. I did not know that. So it can keep going on forever. 
and ever, I guess. It went up to 7, so I was wrong about 3 to 7. It might be like 3 to 10 or something, I don't know. But as you see, I got him up to 7 trades, and it's really, really good. That's actually really rare to happen. So that's the farmer one. Over here, the priest one. I can get bottles of enchanting from him. So if I wanted that, just go like that. Did I get him? Oh, let's see what else he wants. Redstone. So you see, it's that redstone and bottles of enchanting. And over here at the... Um, what's it called? Butcher. Here, I can give him meat for some emeralds. So I can do that. No? Yeah? Jeez. Alright. So I can get some leather pants from him now, so he gets armor and food. And at the librarian, for some glass. Did you see there? And there we go. And the last one is the blacksmith. And the blacksmith is the coolest one in my opinion. They give you armor. So if over here, if you get wool, you get some emeralds from people, or chickens trading for some emeralds, you end up getting a di free diamond pickaxe, which I think is really good. Because you can just keep getting them over and over again. Unlimited times. As you see, I just keep on grabbing them. I put more in there. You can just keep on grabbing. It never runs out of stock. Oh, it does, doesn't it? Oh, okay, it does run out of stock. As you see, it's 7 is the limit, I guess, of buying diamond pickaxes. But still, 7 free diamond pickaxes you can get. And this time, it's 5 diamonds for an animal, which is not worth it. It's a horrible trade. Because you can use the diamonds this is what you need anyway from the trader. So you can get seven things up to him, I think. Seven to ten. Or yeah, like that. Of how much you can trade with them and one little offer thing until you move on. So it's not unlimited. I did not mean to say that. I had just I thought it was, but it wasn't. So I think which that's it for this video. Once again, the five villagers are farmer, butcher, blacksmith, librarian, and priest. So if I have a link in the description taking you to the charts and stuff far. So if you really enjoyed this video, and if I explained it well, and you want to see more T14 update news, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I am out. Peace.